Hi, so you've got two choices here in terms of your Trinity package. Here is the file that you would have received from me. This is a OneNote 2016 version of the file. If you open this up, okay, double click on it, it's going to then unpack the notebook. You can give it a name, you can call it anything you like, um, maybe just add in a grade, uh, grade 210. Let's just add a grade 10 there, and then you can also put it in anywhere you like. This is just local, so this is all happening on the local machine. I'm going to click on Create. It will then unpack the notebook for you. Remember, this is OneNote 2016. It's unpacking the notebook, and everything is now extracted and unpacked. You can click on this little arrow here. Uh, if you don't see the same setup as, as I have here, don't forget, I've put my uh, bars and panels on the left-hand side. And if you want to see how I did that, just go File, go to Options, and in the Options, you'll see there's a section there, there to place everything on the left-hand side. I'll just wait for my Options window to appear. There it is. And we go to Display, and I've got Page Tabs appear on the left. That's what I choose over there okay so you can put that on if you like and it'll look like this and this is kind of the way I prefer it so you've got now the complete notebook everything here ready to work and this can be on a local machine online or offline and uh, you can also give this to your students and they can do exactly the same thing so they can actually use that file that I just showed you this one here extract it onto the local machine and access it like that however there is another way of getting this online and for that you need to have it in a OneNote for Windows 10 uh, version and I'm going to show you how we do that and to do that it's actually very easy we're going to create a class notebook because that's probably what most teachers are going to want to use this for and the class notebook is exceptionally powerful so I've done this now I'm going to just minimize this I'm going to switch to my web browser now I've signed in on office.com I have an Office 365 account. This is an education license that I have. And it's if you go to all of your apps, all of your Office 365 apps, Class Notebook is the app that you're looking for. Class Notebook, not OneNote. There's OneNote there, not that one. Class Notebook. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on Class Notebook. It then takes me through. I am now in a class one, uh, OneNote Class Notebook create a class notebook so let's create one and I'll just call this grade 10 cat demo grade 10 cat demo just for demo purposes click on next it tells you a little bit about what it's going to do you say great you click on next if you want another teacher to be a part of this you can put their email address in there we'll skip that for now if you have your students already you can put their names in there Otherwise, we'll just keep going. Here we have the students section. What do we want to be in the students section? Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and create these sections already. These ones, one, two, three, four. So um, if, if you want to do that, I mean, I'm not going to do that. And I'll show you why, because it'll actually be easier just to replicate from our existing from here. We'll actually just replicate this. So. Here we go and we take away all the sections from the student space we go next did we get this right confirm yep that looks pretty good to me create it takes a minute or two to create the class notebook and then it is ready to connect with right the class notebook has been created it is ready i can actually open it right now in onenote on online or in onenote but i'm going to show you what we're going to do the other thing i think you should probably do is get this okay the class notebook add-in you can download that over there and just install that and that really makes a very big difference if you're using class the class notebook right so that part is all done and we can go ahead and close our browser switch back to our um, local file here so now again you'll notice that I am signed in with my work account because it is a, a education license and we're now going to open up the new Notebook, notebook that we just created so file I'm going to go to open go to my OneDrive I'm going to go to my class notebooks there it is there 
grade 10 cat demo okay so just to recap what i just did i clicked on the onedrive saheti school cloud okay the onedrive there it is there and then i just sort of scrolled through my folders and it by default you have a folder called class notebooks and you will see there is the grade 10 cat demo that i just created i'm going to click on that and it's now going to open that for me my class notebook has loaded and here it is i've got my collaboration space content library and a teacher only space another tip i would like to suggest is you see this little pin okay keep that in keep that in because it means you can sort of expand and contract your sections on the left hand side without that it looks like that which is fine but when you want to you know go through things and find your way around it gets a little bit tricky so I just pin that over there and then I can see everything that I need to see here and now you've got your new online notebook there's your online notebook it's, a, it's also a class notebook and all you need to do is take the sections from your well the first notebook that you installed so I can just take that section over there I can click and I can just drag it down into the other notebook I don't need the welcome so I can get rid of that I also never use the collaboration space myself and here we have the content library and the teacher only section and the students I teacher only I'm going to take these two sections here and I'm going to just drag them do you see what I'm doing just click and drag click and just drag into the section where you need it to go oops into the section there perfect I'm going to get rid of that so I know that there's nothing left there the content library let's just clean this up a little right so here is lessons so this is actually the best part guys you click lessons you just hold your mouse button down and you drag it down to the content library so what we're doing is we're just taking the original OneNote package that you went and unpacked onto your local computer we created a online um, OneNote um, class notebook and now we're just dragging the stuff from one this is the easiest way that I have found to do it there may be other ways but I cannot tell you um, if you can or can't <laughs> I don't know here is the class notebook tools over there with that you can then also go ahead and right click and you can then distribute pages and send pages from one class to the other or across sections as well but that is how you do that the demo student let me just show you what I'll do is I would if I was you I would just take the demo student section put that in the teacher only section so you've got everything that you need is here all right and nothing else is there we don't need this local one anymore that's gone we're going to close that notebook and here we are working in our online uh, notebook now let me show you why we've done this I'm gonna let that finish synchronizing that's very very important you must let this finish synchronizing when it is finished synchronizing we will then open the OneNote for Windows 10 app and you will see you'll be able to open up this notebook as well so the same notebook but just in the other version of OneNote I'm gonna let that synchronize and then I'm going to show you what that does when we open it okay it's taking a bit long to synchronize but I'm gonna move on just for the sake of the video uh, what I would suggest you do is just you just kind of hang on until your little synchronization icon disappears okay and you can always right click and look at the notebook sync status you can see here it says there's a the server is too busy so I'm not gonna worry about that um, it'll always eventually synchronize just keep one note open the whole time okay so we've finished um, copying everything across and we can now close OneNote 2016 we don't need one OneNote 2016 anymore I'm now going to open up a OneNote 2010 sorry 2010 OneNote for Windows 10 and that's what that looks like a little bit different and watch here guys here I'm going to click on notebooks all right notebooks and we're going to say more notebooks and because I'm signed in again with my school account if I look down the list here we are grade 10 cat demo I'm going to click on that I'm going to open that give it a minute 
and voila here you go you can see the grade 10 cat demo that we have now created from our OneNote class notebook in OneNote 2016 it is now here in OneNote Windows 10 and everything we need has now been copied across super super cool and there you go and that is how you get it from OneNote the package file into 2016 into OneNote for Windows 10